Hi guys, so I'm back and today we are going to take a look at Nougat on Galaxy Grand Prime. Like this is madness. I checked uh, Marshmallow for this uh, specific device G530H. Not anything FZ or 531, only 530H. Uh, had got a Marshmallow through Sanjun Mode 13 and now this is Sanjun 14. And speaking of madness, I don't know why it's raining in mid of September. Like it's September 17th today and it's raining hard. It never rains more than uh, August. So let's take a look at this ROM and it's actually very smooth compared to my U Euphoria. It's very much uh, smoother than this uh, thing. This is a 720p display also now but it also has a 2 gigabytes of RAM I guess and this only has it 11 MB which is also known as a 1 gig of RAM which is not much in today's standards. Today we have 6 gigs, 4 gigs of RAM just lying around in budget devices or more devices which are lesser cost than this thing but let's just take a look at that here I have pixel launcher installed pretty much smooth actually very nice transition let's press edit there I have the android storage let's just move it around over here somewhere over here I don't want location I didn't check whether the location is working or not but still we'll check that out here I have my another device booting. I will uh, compare those devices to this. But this is a newer build and that was in its older. But still, they don't have a Cyanogen mode theme store. Or what do you say? Theme center. And many of the features are lacking over here and there. Settings. As you know, let me show you the Android Nougat. There it is. Voila. There's the easter egg, and locked. Let's just compare the settings, what you get. You also get a sidebar over here. Cool new addition to the Android. But let me show you the difference between the Nexus launcher and the Pixel launcher. Wow, my electricity is going mad because of the rainy. But as you know, here is the Nexus launcher and this is a Pixel launcher. And on the Pixel launcher, you don't get more than 5 rows as you can see here are 5 rows and here and only 4 but this was totally actually nice uh, no this is nice actually but it's still 4 but the navbar gets black on the nexus launcher whereas on the pixel launcher it stays white and much more smoother actually than this transition not much of a difference but it is you might be not noticing on the higher phone now let's just compare the settings, they are a bit different on the grand drawing, bit more diverse, let's go to the display, brightness level, adaptive, so let's just compare them, you do get adaptive brightness, now on the grand frame you do get a live display, but it doesn't work, here is the power consumption setting, color calibration, good, it also has an outdoor mode as seen on the galaxy J series, which is also good but it doesn't work, now there is the wallpaper show network operator here it is not present on grand prime double twist for camera is not present double okay twice to power press okay it is present over here ambient display i guess yep it's present it's present on any other phone device rotated cast something is missing over here okay when device is in vr mode it's missing but basically it doesn't work on euphoria too so i'm not Tap to wake is also not present over here. Okay. I just go back. Notifications is there, sound is the same. Ringer volume app, storage, battery. So you do get buttons over here, which is not present over here. It has a number but it's still not present on the UFO, which is quite a bit confusing. But basically you just can remap your settings of your buttons then you do get a gesture setting over here pretty good works actually fine it does respond to the gestures location security oh my electricity is just going bad security accounts privacy google you do get a status bar over here but some my features might crash your settings so i have not tested that also it doesn't work as you know for battery percentage inside the icon it still not doesn't show over there system profiles is not present over here backup and reset okay system profiles are now there signage mode team has finally added that other things are the same 
I have not enabled the system UI tuner over here. Let's just enable that. Just hold down your settings. Let it spin in the background. And I guess I can enable that. Okay, there it is. System UI tuner. So let us uh, let's just check where that it works. Okay. Time show to us. Okay, new option over there. Other split screen swipe up gesture. Not much of things. Navigation bar. Can we enable that? Okay, so it's present over here. Pretty good, pretty good. It's made much of a diverse. There you get the new recent apps. Sorry for the code brightness. I might change the wallpaper. Let me use. So the wallpaper as you can see new wallpaper over here and if you use Wi-Fi which is working I don't know whether the camera was working on a Sennheiser mode 13 kernel it was a quite uh, weird thing to run a nougat on a marshmallow kernel but it was working so I would not complain on that set the wallpaper both you can set individual camera like for a lock screen different and a home screen now looks much better we have a clock the status bar, status bar seems to be much darker than before it's almost black in the camera and then comes to the dialer it's much smoother and faster than my euphoria actually camera doesn't work some guys got it working with a different camera sensor might be on xcu okay that's pretty weird play store works Show you. I don't know whether it's the new one, whether it shows the install. No, add to wish list. On the new Play Store, it shows the size of the app with the install button, which is good. Let's just open some random apps. Let me show you the multi window. Now you can just swipe it or let it like that, I guess. No? Okay. It's pretty different if you have a navbar or you can just hold it or drag it up over here another app you can resize on a smaller phone you can basically resize on a tablet or any other thing bigger than this now I've not found a display scaling option okay, just check it. and if you exit an app like that it will just bug off so open your phone again it's still buggy we will wait for the MR1 of the nougat which would be 7.0.1 I guess let's check September 6 newest patch and if you want to enable root just go to the developer options then go to the root and access apps and adb works pretty good and there are some new options in the networking over here which are not present on my euphoria basically they do have same hardware basically the you uh, like the euphoria has a 2 gigs of ram and this has only one and it has a 720p and this has a 540p which is a qhd i guess you do get a one okay 881 mb that's much smaller than one gig i don't know why samsung put that on this thing 1.5 gig would be better so if you want to install a third party app where you have to enable the unknown sources from the security but if you use the stock file manager it wouldn't work but it's still bugged out it's not a wrong fault it's a sanitation mode fault so just go to the play store don't download a root browser it's just bugged off right now and if you download a yes explorer it wouldn't work but a Z archer will definitely work out and if you want to installation video please subscribe to the channel i will be uploading that tomorrow or sometime later cause my internet speed is very slow i can't do that as my as faster person empty dish let's just play that seven letter no good there's the cat whoops i just still empty dish i don't know whether it's bugged off or not but it's not working Whoop. Uh, okay maybe it's working now empty dish yup and basically it will attract different cats after okay it just ended attract different cats i don't know what's happening now it's still in alpha stage 
I have not caught a cat still. Let me show you what it seems like. Do you get a lock screen rotation over here? Yup. No? What the hell is happening? It basically works over here. Yup. It's totally awkward on the ground, but I still don't know why. But I got many cats over here. I guess 5 cats. It's just a ripoff of a Pokemon Go. I still don't know the point of this. I think this was my review for the Nougat. It's still in alpha stage. So you can test it but don't expect many of it things and thanks for watching. Peace.